Hello, hello boys and girls. Welcome back to your grammar class with me, Sir Mara. In our previous class, we've learned passive voice in the simple present tense and I'm very glad that almost all of you got your assignments correct. Today, we will be continuing our class with active to passive voice in the present continuous tense. Active to passive voice in the present continuous tense. The structural formula is there in the boxes. Present continuous tense. Subject plus is, am, are plus first form of the verb plus ing plus the object. As I've already told you, subjects are nouns or pronouns and are the doer of the action. Then comes is, am, are to be form of the verb. These are auxiliary verbs. Then the first form plus the ing. Then comes the object at the last. Objects are also nouns or pronouns in which the actions are done upon. What and when do we use the present continuous tense? Present continuous tense indicates that an action or condition is happening now, frequently and may continue into the future. Now look at these sentences I have made. Number one. I am washing my clothes. In this tense, the action is happening right now. You are right now washing your clothes. It's happening now. Number two, the boys are always making loud noises. That means they are frequently making noises. Number three, we are visiting the museum in the afternoon. This has not yet happened. This will happen in the future in the afternoon they are planning on going to the museum so continuous tense indicates actions happening now like example number one frequently like example number two and may continue in the future like example number three that we just mentioned now here is a structural formula of the present continuous tense for the active voice subject plus smr plus first form of the verb plus ing plus the object now here is a sentence we have i will be the subject the doer of the action and smr and first form of the verb wash plus the ing and then comes the object in which the action is done upon who is doing the action i am doing the action I'm washing, that's the action. The action is done upon my clothes, which is the object. Let's go on to the next slide. Now we will learn how to change active to passive voice in the present continuous tense. There we have the structural formula of the continuous tense in its active form. And here is its formula for the passive. When changing active to passive voice, what happens? Look at the first point here. In the passive voice, the main focus is given to the object rather than the subject. In the passive voice, the main focus is given to the object, that's why it's in front. And the subject, which used to be in front in the, in the active, in the passive will go at the back. And here is one more point. In the passive voice, the verb will always be in the past participle form or the third form of the verb. First form ing will change into third form past participle. Now here is where things get a bit tricky. This is the most important part of the point to memorize in continuous tense. I will read it out, listen to me very carefully. In the continuous tense, a new word being is added before the verb if you see that the tense is in the continuous tense in the passive voice you will always add being before the third form of the verb understood now the sentence we have is i am washing my clothes subject plus smr plus first form of the verb plus ing plus the object 
Now what happens here, the object will go in front and depending on the object we will use is, am or are. My clothes is this in the singular or the plural form. It's in the plural form. So we will choose are. Now washing first form ing will change into third form and the subject will go at the back like this my clothes are being do not forget being being third form washed by the subject me got it now i will go at the back subject will go at the back the object is given more importance that's why it's in the front and the verb for first form ing will change into third form past participle form now let's do another question the boys are always making noises noises is the object the boys is the subject noises are always being made by the boys hope it's clear enough number three we are visiting the museum in the afternoon the museum is being visited by us in the afternoon the first rule was to find the subject verb object whenever changing active to passive voice we have the subject here we have the verb here we have the object here object is the noun or pronoun in which the action is done upon where are they going to visit the museum not the afternoon some of you tend to get confused when words are placed after the object so know that the object is noun or pronouns in which the actions are done upon action is not done upon the afternoon it's done upon the museum they are going to visit the museum they're not going to visit the afternoon got it now on the next slide i have some exercise for you to do change the following present continuous tense of active voice into its passive form i'll do number one for you sheila is drinking a cup of tea a cup of tea is the object object will come first and this is your answer a cup of tea is being drunk by sheila drinking first form ing will change into its third form drunk now look at number five is she writing poems the object where's the subject subject she verb writing poems poems here is in the plural form so are we going to use is am or are we will use are poems are but this is in the interrogative form so the auxiliary verb are will come in front and you'll have your answer are poems being written by her that was quite simple right if you were listening and paying attention to the lectures i don't think you'll have any problems here do the rest of the questions on your own and like i said earlier if you have any problems just watch the video again that will be all for today next class we will be doing present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense and that be all